Hey, y'all. See what's going on here. Okay. How do you accept this? Oh yeah, it worked. I'm like, how do I do this? And Blessing this and time. frustration. <laughs> this technology. Aww. I am, <laughs> am amazing. How are you? How are you? Oh my god, I'm doing so good. I'm doing really, oh, yeah. really well. I'm gonna be hosting my first retreat this very weekend, crazy. so I'm oh, like, ah, it's happening. <laughs> Yes. Okay. So let's just jump right in. I guess we could do introductions. I don't know if you want to introduce yourself first and then I'll introduce myself. And then y'all, we're going to be talking about trauma. We're going to be talking about manifestation, trauma and manifestation, what prevents yeah. you from manifesting and how that relates to your trauma. Yes. So we're just going to kind of go with the flow. Yes. If y'all have any questions. Of course. Um I always like to give full backstory. So Marsha and I went to grad school together. <laughs> and it's Dr. Marsha, right? So we graduated. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so like we've known each other for a while, hey, right? I'm seeing contacts. <laughs> um, so I'm currently working as a psychologist. So you can see I, I do a lot of spiritual content because I like to include spirituality in my sessions. But when I do like spiritual life coaching, it's primarily focused on spirituality, um, connection with source, that kind of thing. I'm from St. Croix, born and raised, um, currently living in Atlanta, Georgia. I have a 15 year old who's like everything to me, my son. Um, and I like plants. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, and I will introduce myself as well. Hi, everyone. My name is Dr. Marsha Evans, and I'm a high vibe, high energy manifestation coach. I um, also have my doctorate in clinical psychology, and I worked in the prison system for about 10 years, up until 2020, until I, I you know, I really got burnt out. I, yeah. long story <laughs> short, like it was really ghetto there. <laughs> 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 so recommend that state's prison system anyhow and um i left the prison to take a break i was experiencing depression anxiety all of that and literally within a three-week span my aunt got sick with covid my grandma got sick with covid then my aunt passed away my grandma passed away and then i had a near-death experience and that really shift the trajectory of my life because y'all I thought I made it you know I had this big big time job this big degree at like 26 and um I didn't care about any of that I really cared about my, about my peace and happiness at the time and I just quit no backup no anything no nothing and I just really dived into manifestation I started to teach myself manifestation how to manifest what the hell manifestation is what the hell's the chakra system energy spirit all the things that um you know you hear people talk about and my life started to change and now i had no idea you had any i like experience. help people uh, do that <laughs> girl yeah it was it was actually really yeah. crazy you know like i it, it was just crazy because like i knew you know when you're in a situation and i know people that are listening here too you you know when you're in something right and you're mm. like damn i should not be in this right now i should leave but i was very comfortable the job was paying well. Everything was going, I mean, it, well, I, I hated the job, but the pay, the benefits, the, all of that was going really well. And I just couldn't do it anymore. The depression, the anxiety, it was just not, it wasn't going to work. It really wasn't. So what was crazy was I feel like I'm really stubborn and I'm very hard-headed. <laughs> I feel like some crazy shit would have happened like that in order for me to actually truly leave where i was and it was scary i didn't know i i didn't know i didn't even know what a spiritual awakening was i didn't know any of that Thank you, <laughs> you know here we are so <laughs> okay right 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 so yeah now i'm just like we you know we're going to do mm -hmm. whatever makes you happy that's my biggest goal in life yeah. do whatever makes you happy um the world is your oyster you know, like, I really, I really do believe that we can create our reality. 
and it's just dependent on your belief system and it's dependent on yeah um yeah. your your ethic like do you believe you can have this and we see it's been hard for people to get to that power. space yeah of believing <laughs> like in themselves but you can if you want exactly 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 Exactly, exactly, exactly. Okay, so we're just gonna jump right in. I took some notes so I won't forget. Um, the first question that we had was why why do we think black people feel like they right, can't? Like, so my experience <laughs> working with right, and I've worked in different states, right? Lots of experience mm -hmm. with different people around the ways. Um, I think people feel stuck, like Mm -hmm. feel like they have no options like i don't i don't even know what to do they're still in scarcity survival mode and so it's just about yeah. how do i pay for groceries mm -hmm. or pay the bill how do i get to work and so then yeah. pausing to think beyond like tomorrow or next week I think it's just very, very difficult for people. And yeah. so because of the history yeah. of Black people, specifically in America, I think it's not been done this terribly. It's been bad everywhere. But it's, oh my gosh, the land also holds so much of the energy. Um, and then there's still the powers that be trying to keep Black mm -hmm. people down, right? So I, I sometimes explain to people, like, it is harder, exactly. right? You're coming you're not like at a baseline where everybody else is like you have been mm -hmm. beaten down. There has been specific programming aimed at you to right. keep you unconscious, to keep you not manifesting or in abundance. And so you have to like overcome all of that to then thrive, right? To then get to the space of abundance. And because there's so much right. trauma, generational trauma, um, unresolved pain in families, hurt from people close to you, it's just like compounded. Oh my gosh. So I think it's, it's just a lot of pain and blockage that leads people to feeling stuck. So much trauma that needs to be overcome yeah. before people can move to thriving. Yeah. Right, right, right. No, and I, I agree. I feel like, you know, it's, it's twofold. Like, I, well, I think because of that. our experiences as black, as I was going to say black women, but all the people, black women, right? But, <laughs> and, and black people and black people in general it has been a struggle right so i feel like we get into the mindset that you know we have to work twice as harder because it has been our reality i also do believe though that when we address the traumas and when we start to become really educated mm -hmm. about what we have and the resources we have from a spiritual side right like we have the laws of the universe, for example, like if we really tune into just working right. with those, the laws in itself, things, things can change. And I think trauma and money trauma is really, really big because a lot of times people don't realize they have money trauma. People don't know what money trauma really is. And, you know, like one of the things that I always like talking about is, you know, the word broke. You know, I always, always talk about it. Like the automatic response. A lot of times people, a lot of times black people in particular would say, I'm broke or I don't have this or I don't have enough money for this or I can't do that or whatever. Mm -hmm. whatever. And the fact that you're saying that you're broke means that you at the subconscious level feel, truly feel that you are broke. When you believe such things at the subconscious level, you are then going to vibrate at that level. When you vibrate at that level, you're going to continue to attract brokenness. So for me, when I was at my last position, you know, I was making well over six figures, doing the whole thing, but I kept telling myself at all times I was broke. I don't have any money. I don't know how I'm going to afford this. Broke this, broke that. I don't got yeah. it. All these things. Yep. And random shit will pop up. Like mm -hmm. my tire will get flat or... I don't know, something crazy will happen. And mm -hmm. it was because I was in the energy of brokenness. I was in the energy of scarcity. I was always focused on focusing on lack. And when you focus on lack, when you focus what you, yeah. on what you don't have, you continue yeah. to attract and manifest what you don't want. Right. But I also think it's so hard when yeah. you couple yeah. the struggles that black people have faced, have faced over time. 
sort of like, okay, yeah, Marsha, I get it. Let's think positive. But what about, yeah. like, I never seen money. Very I've common. been around money. I'm yeah. using money as an example because that's the easiest, most tangible thing. Right. Yeah. And, and it's like, you know, it's, it's you, up to you, you to can, change the trajectory like, of your life. Whenever I talk to people, you know, <laughs> the people who are ready for this message, I think will resonate with it. If you don't, you know, maybe some self-reflection. <laughs> um, I used to be like toxic pos positive That's when right. I was going mm -hmm, through the, mm -hmm. the um, right, I was in an abusive relationship. And so coming out of that, I'm like wanting to heal and I want my life to be easy and I want peace. I was just like, don't tell me nothing negative. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> Now I'm more balanced, yeah. right? Now I can actually be supportive yes. and like, going through something. But it, there's something about mm -hmm. explaining to people your yes. thoughts create your reality. Like, there, that's a simple truth. It's just a, a law of the universe, right? Mm -hmm. Law of attraction says whatever you are thinking about the most, that's what you're going to get. Right. So you have to pause and think about your thoughts. And so I, I, I'm always like back and forth with this, telling people focus on your thoughts but then you know in psychology we also have like cbt which is literally like focus on your cognitions your thoughts uh and so for the people who are ready to hear it i will say yeah yeah, yeah. if you right. are going to focus on positive thinking if you are going to actually pay attention to your thoughts be present in this moment you can accomplish whatever you want in life like like for real so like as you were talking i was thinking like the process of healing can be so painful right if you have like things that you need to get over, traumas that you have to say out loud to people. It can feel hard and painful. But manifesting isn't hard. Right? It's like it's like, like so universal right. children manifest. Right. But it's the, I think it's the intention. Maybe getting mm -hmm. into the intention of right. I can do whatever I want. I believe my thoughts can create my reality is the hard part to shift people right. from. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no. Yes. Oh my God. This is so loaded. Okay. So a few things came. Up. <laughs> a few. A few things came up. The first thing is like the toxic, toxic positivity. Because I was the same way when I first entered like my spiritual awakening. I was like, I don't want to hear nobody yep. tell me anything negative. I'm like skipping through a bed of flowers in my mind. Like everything is good and then that's kind of where people get tripped up too right because it's like humanely impossible to be positive all the time you know and what happens is with toxic positivity is you're positive all the time but then it starts to backfire because right. at the subconscious level you really don't you're really not positive so people it, it starts to backfire and it starts starts to cause like things that people do not want so i also encourage right those that feel like they cannot have a yes. negative or a negative or a bad day to know that it is okay you are human yeah. to have a bad day and toxic positivity <laughs> is not okay trust me because i've been in there i was like y'all better not talk you oh messing up my chakras <laughs> you, better, you, better not, you better not say anything to me okay and um the next thing that I was going to say is, you know, like what I teach, especially in manifestation, right? It is so simple, but yet so complex. And I feel like it, there's so many layers to manifestation. There's so many layers to this, right? Because mm -hmm. manifestation, like mm -hmm. the definition of manifestation is literally just calling in something that you want, attracting what you want. The reason why it's hard for yeah. people to manifest or the reason why it's hard for people to remain consistent with manifesting is because one they're not that right like, they don't i think I do. there's I'm something not sure something. i think it's supposed to happen just now but it's taking so long <laughs> yeah exactly right exactly oh my god or like people i, I think in manifestation one of the biggest things is surrendering like, yes, you say what you want, yeah. but as people in America, we don't like to surrender. There's no such thing as surrendering yeah. in, in America. You just want to go, 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 get what you that's want. That's a powerful and word. That's it. And it's just like, surrendering. Yo, I just want to emphasize <laughs> surrendering um, is a powerful with manifesting, word. I don't know if you what? pay attention to the full moon. Right? I, I think that, yes, yes. 
Oh yeah. I think surrender from being today um, in Virgo releasing <laughs> is like this is the perfect time to be doing this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Exactly. Exactly. And I think with manifestation, people are always yeah, like, okay, not, I'm gonna yeah. go under the full moon. Although today is not a good day to manifest under this full moon. Not today. The full moon is in Virgo. If you are having any communication issues yeah. or anything like that, um, meditate mm -hmm. on that. And if you need to get things in order, today, this time period for the next two, three days is really to get organized. You were saying, I don't know, I about. about my surrender. Um, I really like the word. What was I going to say? <laughs> I can't recall. Uh, what I, I can't, I can't remember what I was going to say, but yeah, surrender. So all oh, oh, people are, when they manifest, yeah. they're always looking. Okay. So let's say they wrote down, they want this man. Yes. They wrote down exactly what they're looking for. I get this all the time. Like I wrote down <laughs> my guy and he's not here. And it's because you're out here looking for him. Ooh. Allow like yes. God, the universe. Yes. To and I feel like thing. that's so connected <laughs> to surrendering. It's like, okay you know right you're saying you know this is something mm -hmm. that's coming for you why you keep checking it's, it's coming yeah mm -hmm. right exactly it's like right. it's like you're almost telling whatever whoever you believe in that you don't trust yeah you know it's like you ask right. for it so easier said than done let it let it, let it let it occur <laughs> Exactly, exactly, exactly. Yeah. Especially like the yeah. hot topics like money, relationship, peace, happiness, like all the things that people yearn. It, it is a lot easier said than done. But I think the small things is what really compound like meditating, or journaling, mm -hmm. listening to sounds instead of lyrics because you know the music now i know i just had a conversation about um, music today oh man i could go on for days with this okay how so many people are <laughs> depressed and that just comes through in their music and they're just spreading that sadness and pain to other people mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> right exactly i'm like do you guys listen to the lyrics here yeah. like yeah. He, he literally just think, said, he I mean, like, you know, the like, beats are good, shit. and I think that's what people, but the energy of it, I think people are resonating with the energy of it and not realizing that is literally impacting the future you, like, mm -hmm. your ability to feel peace right now. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Right, right, right. Still in manifestation. Um, okay, so I know uh, we got a little off tangent. <laughs> Oh, what is trauma? Exactly, exactly. Okay, so let's, what is trauma? What well, is trauma? I just did a video on what is trauma, trauma, right? And I like started people. with um, something that's not trauma. Mm -hmm. To help people understand that trauma is from your perspective, <laughs> your experience of what trauma is like. But it's really any anything negative, negative. anything um, scary, bad, um, fear that you were going to die, that someone else was going to die, mm -hmm. someone violated you physically or sexually, um, experiences like neglect, like adults are supposed to take care of children if they don't, that's a form of trauma, right? Maybe no one did anything to you like physically, but not being paid attention to mm -hmm. is also a form of trauma. And so there's also, for people, I say everyone goes through childhood and you leave with something. You know, you leave with something. And it may not specifically be like a clinical yeah. diagnosis trauma. It yeah. could be um, something like you had ADHD and your teacher mm -hmm. at school didn't like you. Um, so you were always getting in trouble. Yeah. Or it could be you felt invalidated right. by your parents. Like you were trying to be your whole self to the people around you and they wouldn't see you. That's a form of trauma, right? It doesn't cause PTSD but it informs the way you interact with other people. And so if you then have um, not so great romantic relationships, not so great, you know, friendships with other people, and you have a hard time being by yourself, um, being bored, right? There's some people who boredom feels like pain, right? If you are having difficulty sleeping, you're replaying thoughts, overthinking, people pleasing, like all these things are symptoms that you've been through something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. 
Yeah, I think that's really, really important to note, right? Because I feel like we are humans, right? We are constantly operating, but we don't really realize that a lot of, a lot of Ooh. everything mm -hmm. that has happened mm -hmm. to us is how we operate in the here and now, in today and every day. And I feel like a lot of times people are wondering why their life is like this or wondering why they're attracting certain people or wondering all these things. And it's like, hey, have you checked out or thought about like what has happened in your past? You, you know, say especially and men. I think a lot of times, especially black people, <laughs> especially men. Okay. Um. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> like they do, you know. Oh, and I yeah. feel so bad because yeah. they they kind of push away, push down the trauma, and not really address it, yeah. and then wonder yeah. why they're in the situation that they're in now. And it's like, hey, have you thought about, about like when you didn't yeah. get attention or your parents were working yeah. all night and you just really wanted to spend time with your parents how have, have you thought oh, about yeah. like, how that's affecting that's hard. you today oh that's hard and I think most people don't even have the to talk language about that. to and say when I was mm -hmm. nine my feelings were hurt and I felt uns I don't yeah yep. so completely agree with you I completely right. agree with you um, I, I'd like to add the caveat of society had, so a lot of people, um, a lot, I mean, just talk about the differences between genders, right? A lot of the differences that we see in how genders present, um, you yeah. know, whether they come for coaching or therapy or are able to be successful has a lot to do with what society says. And I usually say society reflects mm -hmm. the ideas of a middle-aged white man, right? I don't have any problems with your ideals, sir. But you don't got to put them on everybody, right? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. So part of the conditioning is right. no one, not no one, <laughs> most parents are not equipping mm -hmm. their male children with the tools necessary to explore their emotions, right? And so heterosexual women now ready to be in these mm -hmm. intimate partnerships with men. And it's like, you don't know feelings? What are you, what are you feeling? Nothing. <laughs> what? Come on. <laughs> What are right. we? Yeah, it's like, right. Like, exactly. What's going on? The introspection. Yeah, like, I, I mean, that? girls are socialized to like, talk no. and talk and say how you feel, and you need to care about other people, and you need to ask them how you're doing, and you need to listen. Mm -hmm. Right? Girls are socialized to do that. We all I mean we have the capacity. We're nurturers. We have a womb, that kind of thing. So we have extra ability to do it. I I think, from my opinion, as a woman. Okay, uh, but boys men they have the capacity yeah. to have all the human experiences um to manifest things just as easily as anybody else but it's the conditioning it's the reprogramming your mind to get into the space of intentional manifesting or else as um abraham hicks would say you'll just be a default manifester yeah. you just be whatever you get is whatever you get whether you like it or not but exactly. you did it <laughs> Exactly. Right. Exactly. You know what? Like, let's touch on that really quickly because we're always manifesting. You cannot turn manifest manifestation on or off. Your entire life, yes. whether it's good or not so good, is a product of what you're of what you are thinking. Whatever is yeah. happening internally is a direct reflection of what's happening externally, right? So it's like, but right. don't worry, like you're not going to be stuck in a whatever not so good situation you're in. I'm just saying this to say that a lot of times, whatever you're receiving, whatever you're seeing in your physical reality, that is just feedback for you to know like, hey, okay, this is feedback. This happened. Mm -hmm. I attracted this. How can I change mm -hmm. so this won't happen again? I do think it boils down to trauma. Um. Whether it's oh, money yeah. trauma, relationship trauma, I, I hear all the time. Yeah. I keep manifesting the same type of guy. I keep manifesting what the same type of men. What am and I, it's like I, so, like one of my um, things that I, I haven't <laughs> talked about in a while because I'm doing away with talking about toxic relationships so much and moving into like healthy people are happy. I know so many happy people. Um, but right, so narcissism, narcissist is one of those hot yeah. topics, buzzwords. I'm rolling my eyes because the way a lot of people are talking about it, it's like perpetrator, victim. 
look at all these things that they're doing to me, right? And I'm not, mm -hmm. I'm not a victim blamer. I'm just saying you are a mm -hmm. default manifester. That's why you keep picking. You are allowing because all sorts of people come into our space, right? I probably met somebody who's a narcissist at the grocery store, but I'm not going to stay in that space, right? They're not going to resonate with me <laughs> so that we are constantly in communication. Right, right. But the people who are in constant communication with negative, right. abusive sort of people, it's a, it's a reflection. It's a mirror of something that you are putting mm -hmm. out there. It's almost like a beacon, I say. Because a lot of those people can see on your head, um, take advantage of me. Yeah. <laughs> They're, they're so easy I'm to spot, but to somebody who is a default manifester and they keep picking the same person, you you see toxic person. Like, you're like, uh-uh. Look at the way you're talking to that waiter. Look at the way you're talking about money and people. And the, the, the other person who's resonating with them is thinking, oh, wow, they're so confident. Oh, wow, they can do whatever they want. Oh. <laughs> right 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 yeah exactly exactly and it's like okay because a lot of times like you're saying um people we're, i feel like we're walking projections like humans yes. are you're constantly projecting and you don't realize that whatever you're projecting you're attracting so like all the people that keep on saying that they keep attracting narcissistic I mean, men yeah. i know right but yeah re relationships I money I think those are <laughs> the hot topics people you know, want to learn more about, like, how do I get a great guy? Like, how do I make an abundance of money? Um, it's by turning the yeah. mirror on yourself and seeing yeah. what am I doing? That's like you said, what am I doing? Yeah. <laughs> to attract, what are the thoughts that I'm having about men, about myself, right. about people right, that right, are getting right. the same results? Exactly. Because the thing is, right, like, we are the ones that make the decisions for our lives, right? So it's like, if you, if this is true, what about changing your internal being? Like we were saying earlier, um, we're always manifesting. You can't turn manifestation on or off. So why not manifest intentionally? Why not focus on things that you actually want with intention? But in addition to that, one of my biggest things I talk about all the time is gratitude. Again, all the stuff I talk about is very simple yet so complex because it's like, yeah, it does say gratitude, but are you going to do it consistently? <laughs> you know, are you going to do it consistently? Because if you're not, yeah. you're going to be in the same shitty situation. And that was kind of like the experiment that I did back when I like quit my job and I was just like, I don't know what's going to happen, but I had yeah. all these boundaries for myself because I was like, what matters the most is my peace and happiness. And for me, I didn't care about the degree. I didn't care about the six-figure job. I cared about my life, and I cared about my peace and my happiness. Yeah. And what I realized was once I really started to feel at peace, once I really started to feel happy, it all became yes. money, happy, like everything else became a byproduct. And then it was so much mm -hmm. easier for me yes. to manifest the things that I actually want, like the more materialistic things. Yeah. <laughs> I was at It's all I'm connected. I, 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 here, but... I fully resonated yeah. with that, right? Because my <laughs> spiritual journey was specifically about healing past trauma. Mm -hmm. I want to feel good most of the time. I want peace. Mm -hmm. I'm tired of arguing. I'm tired of this back and forth. I just want to feel good. And everything else came, right? There wasn't a time... Um, yeah. Not, I mean, now, now I do, right? Specific yeah. money manifest big things, right? But back when I had nothing, <laughs> I didn't have nothing. But back when I was in deep pain, right? <laughs> the focus wasn't, oh, I need to make X amount of money. I wouldn't knock anybody who's doing that, right? But I would focus more on the feeling of peace, the feeling of joy. Focus on that. And exactly like Dr. Marcia said, mm -hmm. everything else will come. Right. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. And let, let's talk about feeling because I feel like sometimes it goes over over people's head, right? Like, yeah. we operate based on feelings, we attract based on the way we feel. So 
it's like, how do I, how do I explain this? Right. So if you feel like you are always upset or you're always mad, yeah. let's say coffee spilled on your shirt, starting off mm. the day, you're automatically upset. You're already vibrating at that angry, angry situation. The entire day now is going to go bad because you have already put in your mind that the coffee spilling, spilling is going to be a bad day. It's not what you said, but it's how you feel. Yeah. Yeah. So therefore, now the entire day you're attracting badness or shitty shit, you know, which is why I always say try to match the energy. Like, how do you want to feel at a situation what, let's say you want a new job. How would you feel if you got a new job? How would you feel if you mm -hmm. got a new business? What does this look like? Act as if you already have it. Because the brain, the mind cannot tell the difference between the past and the future. The brain is always in the here and now. Y'all the one that keep putting yourselves in the past and in the future, okay? So it's like if you are constantly, here's the thing, right? If you are stuck in the past, wondering how could you have, mm -hmm. shoulda, woulda, coulda, that's where depression comes from. Depression comes from being stuck in the past. Right. Or if you are in, if you are thinking, oh man, what if this doesn't work out? Or how's this gonna look? Now you're stuck in the future, mm -hmm. which is why you're feeling anxiety in the here and now, which is why you're feeling depression in the here and now. Right. But if you just say, you know what, I'm abundant, I'm happy, but start to actually feel yeah, it, yeah. you're going to attract it. That's the law of vibration. It's you that, literally that, have um, no choice. Gratitude. But to attract about, right? it. When you focus on right now, are you in pain right now? Mm -hmm. Is, are things kind of okay? Are there things you can feel grateful for? So that the energy yeah. now can be excitement, mm -hmm. joy, peace. Now. You can have it now, even if you don't have the physical, tangible right. things that you want. They'll come. They'll come. They'll match. You'll, you'll align with it, and they will be attracted. Exactly. To you. Gotcha. Right. Exactly. 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 Um, what, what, okay. What does people pleasing mean and how what does people pleasing mean? How can a person know people that they're pleasing, people pleasing is putting other people before yourself, usually to avoid a conflict, um, or to make it so that people will like you, like you approve of you, validate you, that sort of thing. You don't want to sh right. shake the boat. Um, you're trying to keep the peace. Right. Although I saw something on Instagram recently, like, are you trying to keep the peace and moving the war mm -hmm. from outside of you to inside of you? You think it's peace, but you're really just moving the pain inside. Mm -hmm. I thought that was so good. Um, so yeah, people pleasing. <laughs> I know, I know. Although, when I'm working with my clients, I'm just through with with Instagram, <laughs> I am just like, I'm bracing for the nonsense. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at my clients coming recently. Don't listen anyway, to Instagram. So, I'm talking about anxiety and, and black women are irritable. Some, something, something. I was just like, girl, let me give you some research. Um, there's so much stuff on the internet, right? Not a, not a good or bad thing, just a tool depends on how you use it. Um, so what was I saying? <laughs> people pleasing, right. That so part. the people pleaser is in a lot of like pain and conflict. They're like constantly hyper vigilant about trying to make sure everybody's okay. They're okay with me. Is everybody okay with me? Is everybody approving of me? And that's mm -hmm. exhausting. Like you have to be like a slightly different version right. of yourself for everybody and make sure everybody likes you and mm -hmm. is okay. Exhausting. So to stop doing that, you have to be okay with you. Exactly. Like you just have to show up as you and deal with the fear that mm. comes when you think somebody isn't going to like you. Because right in this space that I'm in now, right? If somebody don't like me, right. lesson. Thank you. Thank you for showing yourself. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Appreciate. I don't have to be. Exactly. Liked by everyone. But when you're like in the thick of people pleasing, I used to get people pleasing. When you're in the thick of people pleasing, it feels like the end of the world is going to come yeah. if this person doesn't say nice job or or you're good or thank you. Like it feels like the end of the world. All right. Yeah, no, seriously. And I feel like, because I used to be a people pleaser too. And sometimes I'm just like, 
I'm like, oh, do I want to? Like, no, I have to stand my ground. And the thing is, is like, when you are people pleasing, you are blocking yourself, blocking yourself, preventing yourself from you speaking your truth. And when you prevent yourself from speaking your truth, right, that in it's, turn, about to default, like, kind of like messes up the messes up the <laughs> manifestation process because you don't want to do that. Exactly, you don't want. You don't want to do that, but you don't want someone to be mad at you or someone to like think a certain thing about you. But here's the thing. You cannot please everyone, right? (laughs) And in addition to that, I know because I've been in the same situation where I felt like I was people pleasing pleasing that uh, with certain people and they were still not satisfied. So I found myself... Trying to meet their broke. standards, oh, yeah. and you know, that's oh, like, like, that that the way I thought you would like it. Yeah. <laughs> not good enough, and it's still not good enough. So not only am I exerting my energy for you, but now I have any energy because I already wasted all my energy to try to get to you happy. Yeah. No, it ends here for any, anyone that's listening. This people pleasing ends here. Yes. The person, the people that you're trying to please, they will survive. If you do not want to do it, do not inconvenience yourself. Also, stop having people live rent-free in your head. People do not need to be living rent-free in your mind. If you're thinking about this person, what they're going to say, how they're going to say, what they're going to do, what they're not going to do. Listen, the person is going to cut you off because they're unhappy with you. So be it. You are creating space. Right. for the right people to come into your life. So if they want to go, let them go. It's hard. Don't get me wrong, because I've ended significant relationships where I'm just like, dang, I see I've been this person's friend or whatever for for 10 years. You're creating space. So always look at it or right. try to look at it as a glass right. half full. Like, okay, well, this is ending, but there's better to come. Yeah, that's so good exactly like okay okay that's oh um, <laughs> let me see what other questions i have <laughs> like, I listen i'm like all right what else we want to talk about do y'all have any questions let us know if you have any questions we're talking about trauma how trauma can affect the manifestation process what trauma is we're talking about people pleasing um yeah just doing the do like listen again the world's your oyster in te- um, how can people heal from trauma? Intention. Uh, healing from trauma can take as long as you want or as short as you want, honestly, right? I've seen people um, do like a whole 360 in mm-hmm. three months. You know, mm-hmm. there's people who stop cold turkey from using alcohol. It's really about mm-hmm. intention. What do you want for your life now? What are you deciding? What are you saying? What are you writing? And then how consistent okay. are you with it? Right? Because it's not just, um, right. well, I talked to my mom once mm-hmm. about the thing, the thing that happened, and now I'm healed. No, 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 no. You don't have mm-hmm. to keep going over the same right. topic, but you have to mm-hmm. hold the energy of, I have boundaries. I will not allow people to disrespect me. I will remove myself from toxic situations, and I will self-reflect on areas that I can grow in. Again, easier said than done. The goal here is to be consistent. Continuously ask yourself, is there another area that I can grow in? What do I want? All right, I love when people ask themselves like, what do I want? What do you want? What do you want? Do you want peace? What do you want? Because we're, I mean, (laughs) one of the beauty of, you know, being human is that we're so diverse, just like nature. You can have whatever you want, and it doesn't have to be what they have, what she has, what anybody mm-hmm. has. It's what do you want, and focus on that. Uh, so the healing from trauma exactly. part is specific intention. Into I'm like shining light into this area that felt painful, so that it can get some fresh air to heal. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. I love that, and you know mm-hmm. what? Um, also having grace on yourself because I feel like when people yeah. start to work on their They're not trauma, gonna be healed. <laughs> same thing with a manifestation. When is it gonna happen? When is it gonna work? When I'm gonna stop yeah. thinking about this? It's like, yo, seriously, it was like beautiful mm-hmm. soul. Listen, healing is a journey. Manifestation is a journey. Um, trying to you know resolve your trauma is is a journey, and it's like. It can you it will it, it can happen fast. It's like manifestation. If you really believe it, you just 
probably manifest that by tomorrow. Like seriously, I've seen it happen. I've done it. Um, same thing with trauma, right. but it's also like, are you ready? Yeah. Are you truly deep down ready? I know you're tired. I know you're overwhelmed. Yeah. I know it's annoying, it's but mm-hmm. sometimes we get really comfortable yeah. in the trauma. And then the fear of the unknown. The exactly. What happens if I stop it. this? Like I have no idea what over there looks like. Exactly. It's nice. Let me tell you. <laughs> exactly. It is. Right. Right. <laughs> better on the other side I was talking to my client earlier and I was just like if you get to the other side I promise you he's not as ghetto (laughs) I promise you it's 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 a little bit it's a little bit better and I don't know why forgiveness is coming up for me right now in general but forgiveness is also very key um and trauma, resolving your trauma, walking through your trauma, or whatever, manifestation, forgiveness is one of the highest forms of energetic frequencies is next to gratitude and love. And it's like when you forgive, yeah. um, which is also loaded and I probably so. triggering, but when you forgive other people, um, you're clearing space. Right. Exactly. And the thing is forgiveness isn't for the other right. person. Forgiveness right. And forgiveness for doesn't you. mean, right? The other person think forgiveness means it's okay that they did whatever they did. No, it's not okay. Forgiveness means you're letting mm-hmm. go of the attachment to being angry with them and letting them live rent-free in your mind. When That's you need peace, hard. peaceful thoughts, joyful thoughts to occupy that space. Hello. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> Period. It's like, listen, y'all really need to stop having people live rent-free in your mind. Release that shit and let it go. Because when you release the things that no longer serve you, you are creating space for greatness to come into your life. But you have to try your best to let it go. And also, with the, we're talking about trauma for all the people that are new coming in. Also, when you forgive yourself, I think the most important person that you need to do is forgive yourself. And the reason why is we are our hardest critics. Imagine, imagine your boss Imagine you talking to yourself the way, yeah. imagine your boss talking yeah. to you the way you yes. talk to yourself. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> I was thinking, I remember <laughs> having to forgive myself for staying so long in an abusive relationship. It's one thing to forgive him, right, for the experience, but like, mm. oh, I was an active participant mm. in that? Oh. Let the judgment start. No, no, no. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, like, and that's where forgiveness comes in. It's like feeling grateful for the right. things that you've learned, um, feeling. Doing in that negativity means I would just manifest the same thing again. Exactly, exactly. It's like when you are in, the thing is like, I feel like sometimes people don't realize that, again, again, you are creating your reality, right? So if you are stuck in this like negative energy or keep thinking about this negative stuff or like, woe is me energy, woe is me is going to continue to come into your life. Negativity is going to continue to fall into place. Like it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't work like that. But the moment you change your mindset, the moment you really start to focus on more positive things, that just starts to pop up. Like, crazy positive things literally start to happen. Yeah. Okay, so one of the last questions. If y'all have any questions, let us know. Um, How how can people choose choose themselves first? Because I feel like People yeah. struggle with putting themselves first. A lot of times people are putting other people ahead of them. And um, the thing is, even if you're like a mom or like a caretaker, if you are pouring from an empty cup, it's going to really, yeah. really be hard for you to give your all to someone yeah. or yes. whoever you're taking care of because you're not right with Candace him. Brathwaite say some version of this I know I'm butchering it I don't remember what she said exactly but it is wait what was the question I want to use the right word mm-hmm. choosing yourself yes choose yourself uh, so 
choosing, choosing yourself, yourself first. How for yeah, most yourself people first. typically means disappointing someone else. And you know the person in your mind who you would have to disappoint to choose mm. yourself. You have to get past that. You have to disappoint them. Right. Because the best version of you is on the other side of their disappointment. Mm. But if you live for them, it will be a subpar right. version of your life right. because you're living what they wish for themselves in your life. If you're choosing yourself, it means you're not going to do things the way that they, whoever the person you were imagining, that's going to be disappointed or embarrassed or upset or feel some type of way about the decisions that you're making for your life. You have to let them feel whatever they feel. So that you can move into, well, this is what I want to do. Right. right. <laughs> this is what I want. Get, yay, ignite your peace. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly, because it's like, it's like I feel like the only person you that that should matter, especially when you're healing, working through your traumas and all of that, is is you. Like you know, like if you're sitting here caring about what other people think, you're going to drive yourself crazy. You're literally going to drive yourself crazy. And it's like, yeah. when does it yeah. end? When does when, when do you does, stop driving um, yourself crazy? The feeling of tiredness, exhaustion, um, un being unsatisfied with your life. Um, when is it enough to? I mean, you don't have to experience rock bottom, but for some, a lot of people, right? It's things have to be so painful before they choose themselves. Um, and so I, I see often people make making themselves sick manifest right. manifesting illness um manifesting what else do they manifest mm -hmm. the disabilities all sorts of things to get to try to live the life that they want this is default people right they're they're not trying to get sick nobody wants cancer or illness but they're they're attracting these energies because they right. don't have right. the words mm -hmm. to say i don't want to work there anymore and then Actually taking the steps to extract themselves from that right. situation. So right. I just encourage people not to wait until it gets so bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, seriously. I mean, like, that's basically what happened with me. I was just not choosing me first, mm -hmm. trying to, like, make this person happy, then my mom proud. Like, do go into a very, very dangerous environment every day that I hated. And it was like, not until I got <laughs> sick and almost died, where it was just like, just kidding. Right, right. And I feel like no more. So speaking specifically to black women, America, right? Because we started this around like burnouts um, and trauma. Mm -hmm. That is so common in our community mm -hmm. that people are just going, mm -hmm. going, going and doing, 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 thinking that like self-worth and self-acceptance and peace is on the other side of how hard I can work when it's, it's not. <laughs> yeah. Right. Exactly. Exactly. It's, it, it really isn't. Like I've come to realize mm -hmm. and learn that you, we don't have to work as hard as we think we do. But again, right. it goes down with the trauma. It goes down with, you know, we have to work twice as hard to be um, the best, especially statistically speaking. When you look at the yeah. stats, it's like, dang, yo, like, we doing the same work, we not getting yeah. paid? Like, this is crazy. Um, but I also think that if you believe that you do yes. not have to work this hard, but if you get the same result, you will yeah. manifest that. Yeah. But you have to. You yeah. have to believe. I, I like the word no. You like have to And I to think that's the hardest thing for someone to do. That there's different, that there's more. There has to be, right? Like there has to mm -hmm. be a different way of mm -hmm. doing things. There has to be an easier way. I would say, yeah, there is definitely an easier way. Back to society, you know, brainwashing people into thinking 40 hour a week jobs is it. That's what you need to have, right? <laughs> that's what you need to have. That's the way you're going to, you know, make yeah. your money. And all you yeah. need to do is move up the corporate ladder burnout who where no no not right if you want to have you know a nine-to-five job i definitely do not i'm just thinking there's more there's just more than 
working for someone and being unsatisfied. If you love your job, I love that for you. But there's more. There's just on the other end of wealth, abundance. Right. There's more. There's just more. Yeah. There literally, there literally is. And a lot of times there's so many limiting beliefs about like what people feel like they can actually attract and actually have, right? Like there you, we limit ourselves. You do not have to work 40 hours a week. Unless you really love it. But I, know, I, I know. don't really hear a lot of people that work out of five saying, oh, my God, I didn't go to work. You know? Well, <laughs> I, I mean, like, no. Like, it's, it's never been a thing. Um, and, the, and the thing is, you can actually do what you love and make yes, money. Yes, well, I but mean, I, I don't know what it was like for you. I know you're not, like, in the um, clinical world anymore, right? But I remember somebody telling me... Um, it's, well, just back to right? When I was growing up, nobody really told me I couldn't do anything, right? That was foreign to me. I was poured into I can do whatever I want. Um, but this lady who didn't really know me well made like an offhanded comment about psychology and there's no money in it, right? So I'm just thinking, if you get that messaging repeatedly over a number of times, mm -hmm. you start to think it's true, right? There, there's lots of people who will say, oh, you can't make money from that. Oh, do you know if you want to be an yeah. entrepreneur, like you're not going to make any money. Your business is not going to be successful. First. There's like so many people saying what it's going to be, but that doesn't mean it has to be like that for you. If you are intentional, no, I'm just saying, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. That is like one of my biggest, like right. one of my, like what kind of grinds my gears. People are projecting onto you, right? People will be like, oh, well, <laughs> You're not gonna be successful within your first five years of business. Right. Um, fuck you. How do you know? <laughs> like, first of all, like that's not my um belief system, and I rebuke that and send it back to sender. Like, no. Or like people will true. say you're not gonna make money into in, in the psychology world. That's not true. Um, that's not true at all. You're not going to, you know, it's all the things, but then I think they are not really saying this to me or about me they're saying it based on what they believe they believe that they cannot make money within the first five years of business they believe that they cannot make money in psychology they I believe that they will have go to go on a vacation have years you heard that oh my, i mean we're a different generation but there are literally people who didn't take vacations until they were like 60s that's crazy I know, right? That's crazy. I know. That's crazy. I'm like literally vacationing every other month. Like, like, it's crazy. Or like I see people on like Facebook that be like, I have 30 more years at my job. I'm like 30 more years at your job so you can retire. That's crazy. Same thing when I worked in the prison. People were people were like counting down. Do something else. I'm like, you know you like 25, right? Right? Like you <laughs> could do something else. Like you don't have to wait for this thing over there, like you could live your life now. Like I think dream life is also one of those trending topics, right? I think you could live your dream life now, in your 20s and 30s, like now. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, 100%. I, 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 a thousand percent, like a thousand percent, you can do whatever the hell you want, yeah. but you have to yeah. believe. Consistent intention to get what you yeah. want to heal and to move into abundance. Mm -hmm. Because I mean, I don't know many people, mm -hmm. well, I don't know anybody. I don't know. Because we're humans, right? I don't know anybody who's just like, oh yeah, I have this abundance thing down since I was 10, right? I don't know anybody who's done that. I always say, look at all the celebrities, yeah. all the people you admire, all the people with wealth. Like they went through some shit. <laughs> they went through some things. They had their own tests and trials because we are here to evolve. We're here to become better. We're here to get more, to experience more, to have new ideas exactly. and inspiration. So it's, yeah, it's not like, it's, I don't have everything figured out. I like to pull that. Right. I don't have everything figured out. My life is not perfect, but it's, exactly. it's really, really good. Exactly. Yeah. It's, it's nice. It's nice here. I like it. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I, I'm like, like I don't have, like, everything, you know, you're not going to get everything you want right now. What fun would that be if everything I ever wanted I had now? It's, it's, right. a, it's about the journey. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. And also, like, everyone, exactly. And on top of that, people will be like, I'm like, 
Would you be prepared <laughs> if you want to, if you got everything that you want to know? <laughs> Would you be prepared? Are you prepared yeah. to catch those lessons? Like, think about it, right? Like, most people aren't. Like, people want this, mm -hmm. like, crazy I thought I'm prepared. And usually the people that are they yes. see that are doing really, really well because they prepared themselves. They already changed their vibration of energy. They believe they are do they're intentional. They're doing the meditation. Man of state. Whatever the fuck, whatever they're doing, they are doing it. They have prepared themselves to do it. This was nice. I enjoyed it. Yeah. This was so I good. <laughs> I like it. Yes. Thank you so okay. much. Thanks for having <laughs> me. <laughs> yes, thank you so you. much, Doc. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I appreciate you too. It's so nice catching up. We need to do this uh, more. <laughs> you know, I, I I embrace ease. I'm one of those document emb embracing yeah. ease. Um, so I, I don't like working out. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Yeah. Girl, same. I'm like, how can I make this really easy? And enjoyable, like I most yes. ninety eight percent of things right. that I do right. nowadays. Right, I get to do it. I want to do it now because yeah. I have to do it. This was fun. This really was fun. We should. We should. Yeah. Do it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Yes, we have to link again for sure. All righty. Thank you all for tuning in and joining. Let me see. Um, if y'all have any questions. Slide in my DMs, slide in Sharice's DMs. If you um, aren't following either one of us, follow us. I am dropping something hot next week. It is a hint, a membership, going on a retreat at okay. the end of this okay. week. Of course. Um, oh, so I got to plug me in a little bit Leslie. so you have any questions. My is a shame, <laughs> Leslie. Girl, do it. <laughs> Let me know. <laughs> I love it. Listen. Let me know. Yes. Thank you. Alrighty. Well, <laughs> bye. It was nice talking to you. <laughs>